Hello and welcome back to this new video that everybody probably is missing. Uh, it's about Prestige Open, Prestige 1.7 specifically and we'll be doing a bit of fun with it. Um, I got contacted by one of my followers, I will set his name somewhere here or here. He was asking about how to change the layout of uh, the PlayStation product page, uh, the 1.75 or generally the 1.7, uh, how to play around a bit with the template. Uh, so this is an answer and this is uh, could be also used for somebody out there who need to know how to do it. So let's go ahead. Uh, first of all, let me just show you my current. I was just playing around with it. Uh, yeah, so one important feature to um, to do or to, an option to set up is to disable this cache. Elsewhere, you will be just taking off your hair because the cache is really, really a bad boy uh, with PlayStation 1.7. So you may need to disable the cache and just hit it, clear the cache. Okay, the next thing, uh, just wait a second for it, that it finish. The next thing is to uh, jump into the IDE and just start playing around with um, the template that we need to, to, to change or to update. As you may say, it's really lazy and slow since it's uh, like a mix between uh, PrestaShop and uh, Symphony. I'm still not really convinced uh, on this choice, but anyway, they did it uh, and they don't even care what people may say. So this is by default how it will look like if you don't change anything. And now we start playing around with it. And here is my ID. So let me just give you a hint. Especially when your store is in English, this is more useful. So um, we're talking about product, then put in mind that this will be the product.tpl. And to do, or to be more sure, you just inspect uh, any block of, of the miss page and scroll all the way up and in the body tag hopefully you could see it let me just make this slightly bigger you do see that it's id product and when it's an id that's this is mean like when it's a product mean it's product.tpl when it's a category and it will be category.tpl etc okay Th then we have uh, like various classes uh, of for the language of the country, the current USD, the current currency, uh, the layout for with, this is another thing, on you know, the configuration of the template. And yep, so this is uh, pretty much what I need, the product, mean I need to go to the product.tpl, which is under, there is no big difference comparing to, yeah, there is a slightly different, but, uh, the main thing is still the same. So we are under the theme folder, then the current one, which is a classic, the active, uh, it's called um, it's called the classic. Then inside the templates, then from the template, we go to catalog. This is like the big name. So we have brand, manufacturers, products, suppliers, etc. And from there, I'll pick product.tpl. And hopefully there is a bit of description up there, the classic prestige report, uh, commenting notice and laces about all that stuff. The next thing is um, where to find this. For example, I would like to change this block to like, I don't know, full width, uh, as the question was. So I would like to change this to, to, be, to, be, to fill the whole width. Um, the answer is uh, pretty simple, especially when your uh, website is in English. Why is in English? Why I'm saying that it should be in English? Because this description won't be translated because if it's an, uh, let's imagine this website in French or in Arabic or Hindu or whatever other language, it will be uh, showing the translation of this word. Elsewhere, if you are in English, then this word will be exactly written inside the template. So let me just back to product PR and just show you what I mean. If I do search for description, it will show me a list of various search results. And to find the exact one, I do, uh, and since my website is in English, I do expect that I will have something called description with these two, uh, whatever their names are. And I do see that I have product information here with the block name product description short. And this mean it must be, um, must be this one. Okay. 
then I keep going with my search okay and look what I find I found that I have a block called product tab and right here I have tabs so I'm in the right place all right so the next thing to do is to look where is this description coming from so this is it and here is it ls l for translation this is how prestation do it and uh, the word is description and right here I can type whatever I want hello or well, what's that hello um updated and there you go so now if i do refresh and hopefully the cache won't uh, cause me troubles i okay i have to just clear the cache because we are visualizing a production uh, version of it so let me just back to the idea and i will explain this what i mean by production if we go back to var and let me just reload this a bit okay then we do have var cache and we do have this broad folder which is containing all the files for the production environment which is uh, the current one that we are viewing so this is why even when you disable this option uh, you may have trouble with the cache anyway uh, and there you go so this is an option that i did forget to manage which is never compile actually you should set it to force compile right so now every change every update to the file should take place and this is it so hello i'm updated and this means that we are in the correct place all right let's reset back to its original state and now the task is to make this block 100 percent full width okay first of all i need to to, to check or to see from where does this block start and where does it end so i would like to collapse this tab and i do see that let me just format this for a second I do see that it start here and close right here okay I could copy paste and hopefully I did not break any div uh, it seems like something okay let me just collapse this right here this one too this product attachments tabs and all these blocks could be attached to the tabs block or to the tab section of our template so we have extra content okay i'm just uh we, there you go so let me put a command this oh product tabs traps who is traps format this a bit this the whole tab this mean this is it's closing here and this is it okay i could copy copy it and just cut it actually and right here i will scroll a bit down because normally i will find the cool six which is this one and it's wrapping the whole block if i do inspect it now i normally will if i find oh this is huge let me just oh and hopefully this could be visible for you so this is the call six the, the first call six this is containing the image and the gallery that stuff and this is the second call six which is containing all this information out of the card and etc okay so the blog that i'm targeting which is the tabs product is located under the call six so no matter what i change that div to call 12 the, the first thing the first issue that if i change this to call 12 then it will go all the way and it will blow up my template which is not good so the solution is to take off that part that section and put it in a separated like call 12 that will fit it for the full width of the page or the template so let me just find out that first call six and okay where is the other call six all right i'm not sure that this is it but I'm, let me just do row oh sorry call six okay the image did not pick up so you have to write it manually i'll give class equal to six and right here what it's not even closing tags okay actually i do put call 12 and do lurum all right where is it refresh and i'm getting lurum full with pretty good this means i'm in the right place this means i am in the right place but i would like to investigate from where does call six the other call six came from i'll be back to it later 
and let me paste this block and now let me just get rid of the inspector refresh the page and there we go so i have the product tab uh, in a full width and it's well placed and it's fitting the full width of the page but i may need to like separate it out i don't like this continuity of background so what am i going to do is the following so instead of placing it right there inside this row and this is really simple especially when you are familiar with uh with bootstrap and, and how does it work you can just simply create a new row and inside it create a call 12 Oosh call 12 and this will guarantee the full width actually and just paste your code right there uh, it seems like I don't have a formatter for the smart thing in this um, VS code but anyway so if I do refresh now I do see that I get the result I'm expecting uh, with an extra padding as you may notice here so the solution could be also pretty simple I could add it like a, a P2 for example yeah, you gotta just play around with uh, padding margin or simply remove um, this call 12 simple as that I don't really recommend that but this could be a hack to get um, the best result out there so uh, this is uh, I think this is the answer for um, the, my friend for Lawrence who sent me an email uh, hopefully this is helpful for somebody out there and let's see from where this uh, block is coming from so come on if I do inspect it I would like to do it the hard way so normally this row is containing everybody uh, okay for this I'd like to do it as I said the hard way so I'll do remove this block and now if I go back what will happen it will go blank okay this means that this call 6 is containing everybody out there all right people and there you go so this is the other call six uh this is the include okay this block starting this is for the block although for the image for the left side image and this call, other call six is for the details okay people thank you for watching um hopefully this could be a useful video and uh, i would like to thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, to um, like uh, give me any feedback i just need that because it does really push me forward and the next thing is that i am done with this video okay thank you for watching and see you in another one